Hey y'all, welcome back to Sunflowers and DIY. I am so excited to share these two super fun, but yet super quick DIYs with you. I am just using a Dollar Tree mug, and then I'm just taking some alcohols and just going to clear it, clean it from any oils and all that fun stuff. And then just taking some of this, uh, this is just the other plies from the napkins, just drying it up and just, you know, cleaning all that off. Now I'm going to take this paintbrush and then I'm just using some regular old water and then just going to pull it pull it away from the edges there to give it a, um, I guess a, instead of it being such a clean cut, it's got more of a, uh, I don't know, I'm doing this. And I really liked how this turned out the way I did this way instead of a clean cut. I do have another coffee mug that um, I made and... I did it with the clean cut edge and it still looks cute. I really do like it, but I really like the way this one looks. So now I'm just pull, pulling out all the plies. Make sure you take all of them away from it, from the design. So this had the design plus two more plies. Make sure you clear all plies and then it is ready to be used. So now I'm going to take and use water, um, not waterproof, it's um, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You can find it at Walmart. Amazon, you know, Walmart.com, all those fun places. Most craft stores do carry it. Um, and then I'm just going to layer it with a nice clean coat here. Uh, for my first layer, I don't go heavy and I make sure that no ripples are in there. You want it to be nice and smooth as best you can because you are going to add another layer to it on top. So I lay it on and I just am um, going to get my paintbrush back out. And I didn't refill it. It just still has some from before. And then um, this will help if you keep less on your paintbrush for your first layer on top. It will help from ripping. And you don't want it to rip. If it rips, you know, I mean, you can just wipe, you know, just have to start all over. So now I'm going to, in between my coats, um, I am just taking my heat gun to dry it all up. Just because I... Um, don't want to wait, but also I did this to my last one and it worked really well to add my layers up. And now I'm going to sand the bottom part of it off to give it a really nice clean cut at the bottom. I do end up adding three coats of that dishwasher safe Mod Podge to the top of the napkin, both this side and the other side that you will see here in just a moment. So, um, I just wanted to have a smooth surface, so I just, a clean, so I just took that napkin, flipped it over, put it on, on that, and then I just re-wiped that part of the mug off, and then I'm going to do the same process all over again. Take the, um, um, well, first I'm going to clean up my, my top part there. I missed a little bit of the napkin, so I'm just going to pull some more off there. Then I'm going to take that same dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So if you have not uh, made your own mug, this is a great starter. It is super simple, super easy to do. Um, there's really nothing to it. You're just going to take a Dollar Tree mug, clean it up, or a mug that you have on hand already, and you want to dress it up a bit with a fun napkin, you just make sure you get all the plies away. Give it a good layer of Mod Podge, of this Mod Podge here, but make sure that you do a smooth layer. Um, no ripples, no all that stuff, no excess, no, not a bunch of it piled up in one area. Smooth strokes. And you see as I'm just going right over it, and then I just take my finger and go atop the rim just to make sure that I don't have any dripping there to not have a glob of it just harden up right there because this Mod Podge, what makes it different from the other Mod Podge is this hardens almost like a lacquer likeness to it. I don't know. It's really neat how it works. So here I'm just doing the same process. I didn't refill my brush. I'm going to give it a smooth top coat of it and then I take my heat gun. I'm going to go back over that with the heat gun and then layer it up now with the rest of my um, layers. So in between each layer, though, I do take my heat gun and dry it, um, dry it, and then I add my next layer, and I just keep doing that same process over and over. Um, and then you just let this uh, sit for I think it was thirty days, and then it is good to use for your um, 
for your mug. I would not actually put it in the dishwasher though. Wash it by hand. It is handmade. Go ahead and just wash it by hand. So this is a napkin exchange challenge. So this month we did not exchange napkins. We we're using from our stash, but the catch was we had to use a challenge item. So we still drew names and we challenged each other with a mystery item. So my challenge was this truck. I had to re, you know, create something with a napkin and use a red truck. So just, you know, the quote unquote red truck, um, thing. So I chose to do this truck here, the plain one from Dollar Tree. I took my agave paint and this white apple barrel paint, and I'm just making it a little bit lighter. It's not necessary. I don't know. I just wanted to do it. So then I just give it a one quick coat of that on the actual truck. And then I also, um, yeah, so I'm going to go around the edges, give it a real quick coat of that. I don't make you watch all that though. And then I'm going to take the antique wax and go around my little, um, rails and then the, um, yeah, you see it, all those things. And then I do end up also taking this and distressing it as well. I can't remember if I put that in there or not. I don't remember. Anyway, distressing it, it's, you know, you just go around the edges and you just gently distress. So this is also a item from Dollar Tree. It's one of their wooden planks. You could also use um, whatever else you have on hand. Could even use cardboard. But I chose to use this. I'm just going to cut it down to match the size of that. And this is where my napkin comes involved with my truck. So I'm just measuring it to match the back part of the truck to make it look like it's carrying something. This is the napkin I chose to use. Um, my friend Sharon sent me these a while back for one of our napkin exchanges. Um, she got these off of Amazon, I believe. So really cute napkins and you it comes in a really good pack. I've gone, um, they've lasted me. So now I'm just going to trim it up a bit and I do do a fussy cut and go around to get some of the blue stripes so it doesn't take away from my actual design and the napkin part. Um, I didn't want so much, I guess, attention to that part. I want more of the napkin sunflowers to really, um, I guess, I, the word escaped me. Anyway, to really show up. So then I'm going to, um, after I fussy cut this, I do take a real quick coat of apple barrel white paint on that wood plank. And then I'm just going to Mod Podge that up right quick. So there's the apple barrel and like I said, a real quick coat of that. And then um, I also have my iron on. I do go around the edges too. And I also have my iron on because I'm going to do it with the iron instead of the other way. So real quick layer of Mod Podge. Then I'm just going to put this um, um, napkin on that and then just after I dry it, I do dry that. So make sure you dry it. And then um, I will lay the napkin on top of that. So if you are new, welcome. If you are coming from the playlist, welcome also. So glad that you could join us. Don't forget to check out the playlist. And um, the link will be found in my description box below. If you do not know how to find the description box, it is a little arrow and it allows you to um, see more. Uh, it shows more, all that fun stuff. And then it will show the napkin exchange playlist. You can click that link and it takes you to all the other beautiful, wonderful ladies, other crafter DIYers that have joined us for this fun challenge. I hope that you will take the time and you will go watch their videos as well. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and a comment to let us know which project was your favorite. And so now I'm just going to take the sandpaper and just get it away from the edges. So I almost forgot to tell you who gave me my um, um, <laughs> challenge. It's, I believe I'm saying it right. It's Aria. Let me get her channel name though to you. I will also have that in the description box below because I don't want you guys to miss out on that along with all the other ladies. So um, here I'm just taking another coat of Mod Podge right on top of that. DIY with Aria is her channel name. Like I said, I will have that in the description box below. 
So now, and then I took the bees from another napkin. I just fussy cut those out and mod podge those on. I am taking um, ink chalk paint and just distressing the edges. You don't have to. I just love the way it looks. So now I'm just going to measure it up again just to make sure I got my measurements and all that fun stuff right. And then I um, end up adding the hanger before I glue it. Do you want to make sure you do that if you recreate this? Um, I just really I think that that would work much better to hang it than to glue it to another sign. Unless you balanced out that chunkiness of that um, plank. So I did knot it, but then I end up cutting it off because it's going to be too bulky and would mess with the um, smoothness smoothness of the plank and I did not want that and I will show a final reveal at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for that so now I'm taking the glue and just some hot glue and just really letting that get down then quite a bit of it to hold my wood plank I probably exaggerated you probably didn't need that much but it's okay so now it's just to add this beautiful uh, piece that we just created on here and there it is and I just love how this turned out. It's just so cute. And it's so fun to just take napkins and make beautiful DIYs with them. So make sure you just get creative. And I left that label on there. It was not one wanting to come off. So it's like, okay. And I did add some um, buffalo check um, beads to it. Some wooden beads, just five of them. Just a few to give it some, I guess, dimension, character. I don't know. So then I'm going to trim that off, give it some hot glue at, to attach that piece. And then to, to get the singes off of that twine, I just take the lighter and just light it up and get all the singes off. The fuzzy pieces, you know, the hairiness of it. <laughs> so um, then I was looking at this project after I got it all finished. And I was like, it's missing something. It needs something else. So that's when I fussy cut it out a um, sunflower from the other from the same napkin that I just used right there, and I'm going to put it on the door. And I think this turned out really cute. Don't forget to let us know which one um, which one was your favorite. So as you saw earlier, I had the tires or the hubcats black. I ended up changing them to white. I'm still not sure if I like it or not. Let me know what you all think. I may. I don't know. I thought about putting some gray in there to maybe tone that white down a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If I should just leave it alone and just enjoy it or should I try to fix those tires or hubcaps, whatever they're called. <laughs> so, and just one last quick layer of Mod Podge over the whole um, project now just to, you know, make it all blend and be cohesive because I did add the sunflower there and it, it will be a little bit um, glossy, I guess. So there it is, y'all. So let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which one you like. And I definitely love them both. So I don't know. I need y'all's opinion too. So thank you again, y'all, for watching these videos and the playlist. Don't forget to check that out in the description box below. And remember, be someone sunshine. Bye, y'all.